So these are the boots. Waterproof. Uh, by Thoroughgood. Everybody's been asking for an update, but I wanted to have a really good update. Now I've used these, God, since the last time I posted. As you can tell, they have held up really well because this sole actually was a different sole. The sole they put in was supposed to be like a little bit uh, more durable. I don't know if you can see. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't clean them up or nothing, but you can see where it says, uh, oh, here we go. Maybe. Slip resistant or resisting. These soles are a little bit thicker. Well, not thicker, but um, <clears throat> more durable. And I ain't gonna lie to you. For the last ones I had, having them this long, yes, you can tell here. So, in all honesty, they've held up really well. Sliding around columns, uh, climbing beams, they have held up phenomenal. I haven't cleaned them, to be honest with you. Sorry about the table in the background stuff. This is the poker table. <laughs> and my brother and I are going to be holding uh, perk, uh, poker uh, tournaments and whatnot at the house. So we're, we turned this table into a uh, poker table. That's what we're doing right now. But anyways, um, but yeah, they've been comfortable. And they've been phenomenal. And size 13. Oh, yes. And the insides. Check this out. Now, you would think, now, okay, so these soles are not the soles I came with. Um, I'm actually using my own soles. I kid you not. These are Dr. Scholl's soles. Oh, man, let's see if I can dig them out. Let's see. You know what? I'm not going to mess with them. I ain't going to lie to you. But, yeah, I've had these soles for, like, many years. But they are just the best fucking souls ever. They're not really expensive. Got them at Walmart. Dr. Scholl's. Gelling. Thought they were nice, comfortable, and they had been. But <clears throat> since the last video, you can tell here, the stitching has not even come undone, dude. Look at this. Seriously. Like, this is a great fucking boot. Um... Yeah, like, and they've been comfortable. I've worn them through the summer. Fuck, I mean, okay, I'm using a lot of curse words, sorry. But seriously, during the summer, bro, um, y'all know working out there in the field, night shift, day shift, man, he is hot regardless. And I haven't had no issues, you know, and... They've just been awesome. Um, you can see here. Don't want my fingers. You already know. Be an iron worker or a rig or whatever. You're going to smash your shit. But um, stitching is still good. Everything is just phenomenal. Still. Look at this. The quality of Thoroughgood. And this is why I buy Thoroughgood. This is why I won't buy nothing else. Sure, you get lifetime warranty with Red Wing if you buy from Red Wing and they're American made and blah, 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 and all that crap. But no, honestly, like, let's be real. This is quality. Still, extreme waterproof. Quality. Look at this. Yes, I do the wraparound. But quality. Love them. Feet still stay dry. Um, even through the hot weather, still dry. Still good. This is the other pair. Stitching hasn't come in done, even on the side seams. Now I'm gonna lie to you. I have, I've been all the way up here in these boots and I will do a test for you, <clears throat> which I don't mind, but I'm gonna show you something. Because, you know, people sit here and they go, well, this and that and this and that and blah, blah, and all this other crap. So here's the truth. You wanna know the truth? Here's the fucking truth. And this is where it lies at. <clears throat> Lemma boots. I'm going to do this. But you see here? This is where your line is at. Okay? 
you have, this is where it stops being waterproof. From this point, which is going to be about that lace. Well, this button. So let's soak them. Y'all want any more? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here's the other boot. Because I know y'all, that's what y'all want to know. People want to know. They want to know, how, well, you know, are they really waterproof? Are they really waterproof? Is this really legit? Camphor. Here's one side of the boot. That's legit. So. <laughs> this is how it was. And I'm using hot water. Yeah. This is. I gotta actually push him down. Like. I have to push him down. So this is truth. This is 100% truth. Because you see this here? That spot there signifies where the water is. You see the water is in. I'm going to turn the water off. So this is a real boot. And this is real... logistics of or real shit okay thorough goods 100% waterproof now nothing Nothing. I've had these for so long. Legit waterproof boots. All day. From what you saw my hand just now. Yeah. Yeah. So, I have not had no issues with them. That's the truth. So, yeah, they are still holding up after this whole time. And they will continue to hold up because they are American made. So, I appreciate everybody who does, um, you know, comment and whatnot. And... You know, really like add serious questions and whatnot. So I will <clears throat> continue to post other videos. I'm sorry it took so long. I just didn't think that I was gonna get so many views. And on top of that, like it just um Yeah, I mean to be honest, yeah, I didn't think anybody really cared. I just wanted some real reviews and nobody was giving me any. So these are real reviews right here, like they're used. You saw them dirty. So, yeah. I'll be going back to work after the holidays. So, but yeah, man. Um, if y'all want me to test out another pair of boots, let me know. And I definitely will subscribe. And I will be testing out more pairs of boots. I just recently noticed I had like over 3,000 uh, views on this video. So, I tell you what, guys, man, the more that y'all subscribe and stuff, the more boots I'll buy to test out. Just let me know. I don't got a problem with it. Like, let me know. And I will start buying other boots and testing them out for you guys and getting you the 100 because a lot of guys out here, you know, they're not telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying?